8. Not sure 100% uh, if this is going to work well. I, I'm just going to give it a go because uh, because I don't really have a backup plan for making sure it works. So um, this is my attempt at uh, the League of Extraordinary Investigators, the final scenario in Season 5. This is Union and Disillusion. Um, so I'm just going to do a quick run through of the setup and then the upgrade of my deck and then I'll uh, I'll just start right away. So um, we either have to help complete the Lodge's ritual or we have to stop the Lodge. Now I'm pretty sure that I want to One second. I don't remember which one it is that I want. I think I need to stop the lodge. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I need to stop the lodge. So, um, we have to stop the lodge's ritual, uh, so I'm siding with the coven. I'm just going to write this stuff down because I don't know. This one's this this campaign's a little confusing for me sometimes. I I don't have enough plays of it under my belt. Uh, gather all cards from the following encounter sets. Okay, they're probably already in the uh, deck there. Set the following aside: Annette's Coven, Silver Twilight Lodge, and the Watcher. Put the Miskatonic River and Forbidden Shore into play. Each investigator begins at the Miskatonic River. Well, okay, so I guess technically I should like go here and, and do my opening hand. But my deck upgrades are really simple this time. I added a Relic Hunter and a Crystalline Elder Sign. Uh, and I removed it to Single Deny Existence. So I'll just shuffle that in now. Um, and here's here's the token spread for this, uh, this scenario. It's a little, a little nastier. These are like double pulls if you're doing your circle test, so that's that's kind of uh, crummy. Um, but fortunately, Jacqueline's ability should help me dodge them. Anyways, uh, let's get back to this. Uh, shuffle the unvisited aisle locations and choose two at random to put into play. Now, if I recall correctly, all of the unvisited aisles are all like interconnected to one another, so I'm just going to do this, and I think that there's technically like a connection like that, which is not the right type. Whee! as well. Uh, okay. Set the rest aside out of play, so let's put them out of play. Uh, the puzzle box, I didn't get that, so that's gone. Sorry, that was left over. I didn't clean up my table very well before I got started. Um, if I sided with the coven, the braziers at the forbidden shore, and both Unvisited aisle locations are already lit. Place a resource token on each of these locations to signify this. Uh, oh shit. Did I fuck this up? Yeah, I did. I definitely messed this up. This is deck one, right? This is deck four. Yeah, this is the one I wanted to use, I believe. Sorry, I was like messing around trying to make sure I understood how this uh, scenario worked before <laughs> before I loaded up the stream, and I forgot to uh, I forgot to like reload where I had saved this. Uh, so I'm pretty sure it's this one that I'm going to be doing, but I'm just going to put it here, and I'll double check in a minute. Um, so place a resource token on each of these to signify that they're already lit. Okay, and I think since I'm here, technically this is revealed now. Uh, search for a net. No, the guy's trapped in the Watcher's Gaze. Treachery. Yep and yep. And this is a set aside altogether. And a net is set aside with Joseph. Uh, check the missing person section. I don't know that I ever filled this out correctly. But what I remember is that nothing's going to happen with Penny. Which is who I had cho chosen. And uh, at some point the Watcher is going to be stronger. Because of the result of, of the pre prologue. Um, but I don't know if I actually look at any of her cards, so whatever. Uh, depending on the following circumstances, a different version of Acts 3 and 4 should be used in this scenario. Each other version of Acts 3 or 4 is removed from the game. So, if I sided with the Lodge, which I didn't, it would be that one. If I sided with the Coven, if I'm deceiving the Lodge, and I was inducted into the Inner Circle, none of that. If that's not true, if I sided with the Coven... And at least two of the following are true. 
The investigators hid their knowledge of the coven. Hid the... Yeah, so I'm not. Dece I'm still not deceiving the lodge, and I don't think I kept my mementos hidden or anything like that. Yeah, so that's not true either. So it is definitely. It's not this one. It's this one. Okay, let me just delete that now so that I don't mess up any further. Should have. Uh, I should have. I should have done a save there. Um, for each heretic that was unleashed, because we didn't do that scenario, no her heretics were unleashed. Um, oh, I meant to. Uh, I'm just going to do a quick check to make sure that this is like remotely functional. It might not work great. I should have done a save there. Um, yeah, okay, sweet. That is actually working and that's 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 good. Um, yeah, I had a I had a stick of RAM die on me last week and my memory is currently halved because I have it unplugged or else the computer crashes every 5 5 or 5 or 6 minutes. Um, shuffle the remaining, uh, remainder of the encounter cards to build the encounter deck. So, I think that this is correct. I don't do anything with these guys yet, right? I don't do anything with them or them or them or them. But yeah, the rest of this is put aside. Okay, cool. So, I think that that is actually the scenario set up complete. And I probably was already supposed to do my opening hand, but I'll just, I'll just do it now. Kind of late. Put that aside. Uh, hoo, 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 look at that. That is beautiful. Uh, David, Spectral Razor, and Guts. Let me think. No, let me think about this. So I obviously don't need another David. Having a Spectral Razor is nice for combat, but I really prefer to have like my Sixth Sense so I can get start off running. And I can't commit the Guts to the Spectral Razor either. Um... Oof. A tricky opening hand, isn't it? So, I think. Uh, that is a tough one. That is a toughie. Uh, wait, no, that's not supposed to have. I misread. <laughs> Which ones are lit? And both on visited aisles. Yes, okay. <laughs> I was like, there's no, there's no circle here. That's wrong. That's just wrong. Um. Oof, man, that's so nice to get early, but I gotta say I'm worried about. Uh... Okay, let's let's do this, um, and hope that's not a mistake. <sighs> not great, not great, but I am gonna be at um like six four three three. starting resources. I don't have clues from the last scenario. That's bogus. A blatant falsehood. Um, okay. So let's do this. Uh, I'm going to play David Renfield. And I'm going to immediately tap him for a resource. I'm going to do him. And then I will play my uh, Crystalline Elder sign. One, two, three. And I'm going to seal the negative, the plus one. Now my Azure Flame won't be quite so uh, spiky, I guess. And I will uh, draw a card because I definitely need... There we go. That's That makes me feel a bit safer. Okay. That's definitely a bit safer. So enemy phase, nothing occurs. Upkeep phase. Do that. Ready my stuff. Deny five so that I can... Ooh, that's nice to have early. Okay, feeling a bit more comfortable now. So I'm at uh, two out of eight doom. I'm just going to shuffle this to make sure that that's definitely shuffled. And we'll get going. Ooh. Alert. You, you must either resolve each haunted, haunted ability on your location, which I don't believe I have, so I have to give him plus two evade and plus two fight until the end of the investigation phase. That's a bit of a bummer, um, but it is what it is. 
So let's tap David. I'm going to give him an extra, an extra doom for two resources. Um, and then first action, I'll be doing a spectral razor one two, on him. I have like five. <laughs> okay, seven eight nine ten against four. Yeah, seven eight nine ten against four. And I'll use uh, Jacqueline's ability to pull three tokens for this. Okay, I don't remember what that is. But I, I mean, I, I pass, obviously. Um, okay. And then I'll move up to here. Forbidden Shore. Okay. Um, I'm only one up for the investigate, so I do eventually need to, like, find more stuff. So I'm going to take another draw action. Okay, guts, that's handy. I can guts that test. And that'll feel nice and safe. Okay. Uh, okay. Enemy phase, nothing. Upkeep phase. Let's hit the upkeep. There's my black cat to stay alive forever. Uh, I'm at four out of eight doom. Test two. Increase the skill for each damage on you. If you fail, take two horror. Okay. Um... To tap him for two resources. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep him low. I think I don't want to get him to three, because three starts to be dicey if I'm not seeing if I don't see damage effects and it's only stuff like this that I can always pass. Uh, I'm probably gonna want to press it for that spectral razor back. That'll probably be really necessary at some point, but I'll just not do it right now. Um. I'll instead, I mean, I'm at like seven, right? Do I want the draw now or do I want the draw after I do the circle test? <laughs> um, oh, I should double check the rules to make sure that like the locations don't need to have uh, no clues. Because um, it's been a long time since I've played this. Um, <clears throat> Okay. Yeah, no, no, no. You don't need to gather the clues. You just need to gather the clues to actually advance the, the scenario. Okay, so so that's fine. Um, I mean, I'll just take the seven against... Yeah. Oh, you know what? Failing, yeah. And I'll do it normally because if I, even if I do auto fail, I'll play deny, get that, get back up to zero. And then the one that's the opposite of this, that's an agility test, won't be quite so uh, scary. The one that I take, the difficulty is increased for horror on you, and you take damage instead, right? Uh, yeah, let's do that. So I'll just, I'll just take the test ordinarily, uh, and I succeed at it. So let's do the circle test, um, and I'm going to commit the guts. Uh, let's do something else first. Let's uh, play my pendulum, and then do the circle test. Um, I'm going to... Oh, this is way more complicated, isn't it? <laughs> oh no all right uh my total value is going to be five six seven eight nine ten eleven against three <laughs> fuck all right i'm gonna call i guess it would be eight no 11 against 3 already is 8, so like 5. So if I pull the Elder Thing or the minus 3, I'll get the draw card off uh, Pendulum, and then I guess I commit the Guts. Yeah. 1, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And if I pull this, I'm drawing a card from Pendulum. Okay, so I'll choose I'll choose the negative 3, I guess, because it's the, it's the value that matters. Uh, so I'll Oh, 
Let's see, which one do I want to do? Uh, I mean, I'll, I'll, I guess I'll unlight it first. That doesn't matter. I'll get my two draws from my guts. I'll get my one draw from my crystal pendulum. Okay. Um, really looking for that... Uh, really looking for that sixth sense. Um, but that's okay. Things are not dire yet, by any means. Fearless is going to be handy. Take that off me. It will also help. Um, I am four against three for this clue. And I do have an unexpected courage, but I think I want to save that for the circle tests. That seems pretty essential. Um, last action, I will... Uh, Right, I sided with the coven, okay. Uh, last action, I'm going to... I'm actually going to play my black cat and turn these into potential negative ones instead. They don't have to be, but they can be. Yeah, okay. And that's me. Okay, so... Uh, enemy phase, nothing happens. Upkeep phase, everything readies. Okay, I'm going to just walk into these and use my read the signs on them then. Because uh, I have that. Everything readies. Mythos phase. I'm at 5 out of 8 doom. I wouldn't mind something that can kill off David. Uh, this has to go in front of me. Okay. It's a bummer. So let's tap them for two resources. Um, I'll move... Oh, I'm at five, then six, then so. So I've only got a couple turns. Uh, so I'm going to move to here. Oh, this is the easiest one for me to to light the circle. Yep. Okay, so let's, um, let's do a read the signs which is my intellect and uh, willpower together to try and beat three, which is like really high right now. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 against three. Um, and I guess I will call out this value. Uh, no, I'll call out, I'll call out negative two over, like if I pull a negative two and I'll use uh, Jacqueline. Uh, okay, so I have to cancel this. I don't get a negative two because I have the plus one added to it. So that doesn't work. I don't get the draw, and I can't cancel the Elder Sign to get a draw either. Um, but I do get the two clues. Yeah. Um... What, what value am I at for, for this? I could just do a big, like, fearless test, couldn't I? Like I said, 5, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 against 10? Yeah, sure. I'll do a fearless, I'll put a fearless into uh, testing the circle test here. <laughs> okay, well, plus 1, so I heal 2 horror, and uh, I unlight this brazier. So that's me. Upkeep. Oh, Arbiter. That'll be nice. That'll be super nice. Okay. Uh, so I'm at six. Doom. Ah! Okay, well, I'm going to crush this. David. David. Fucking me big time, buddy. All right, so five, six, seven, eight against four. I'm just going to do the test um, normally because I wouldn't I want to I want to make my progress, my Jacqueline ability. Uh, but I will tap him for two resources again. Okay, so I'm at, yeah, five, six, seven, eight against four. 
minus 4, so I pass. So uh, let's go 1, 2, 3 for an Arbiter of Fates, because I need to play that, basically. Whenever you get it, you need to play that. Um, and then I will move over here. Uh, wait, what's the do what's the haunted? Till the end of the round, increase the difficulty of each skill test during a circle action by two. Uh, I think I want to stand here. Yeah, I think I'm going to stand here. So, no, 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 no. I, I, I need to keep moving forward. So move. Ooh, fight and, ooh, that's a tough one. That's a toughie. I mean, I am at six, but it's six out of ten, right? So I'll need to actually progress. Um, so last action, I'll use Arbiter of Fates to do a read the signs. Uh, this is kind of the same deal where I'm up like a ridiculous amount over four. And I'll tap my pendulum to call the negative two token as well, again. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, I canceled the auto fail, and this time... Um, I'll take that as a negative three rather than as a negative one and putting a horror on him for no reason. So I don't get the draw because it was not, it was a negative three instead of a negative two uh, total value. Uh, but I do get my two clues. And then next turn, I think I'll be advancing and going to like some random unvisited aisle, something like that. Keep phase. Six cents. There you are. Ooh. Okay. Um, seven out of eight doom. Can I get an enemy? Resolve the haunted ability. Your next move action this round costs an additional action. Okay, and that surges. Um, so I'm just going to put the... I'm going to keep this here so I don't forget about it. And yeah, Whippoorwill. So I could, like, engage him... <laughs> play six cents and then like punch him or something silly like like there's how do I like abuse him to kill off him and do I get more does it do anything good for me um, either way I'm going to be putting a doom on him and taking three resources uh, in the very first mythos phase because either I can clear him and we're good or I can't so let's like put this here maybe and so that I don't forget. Your next move action this round costs one additional action. Okay. Let me think. Engage, play sixth, and then what? <laughs> Do I let him just punch at me a little bit? I could pick up, I could try to pick up that clue. Should have used the prescient to pick up the uh, spectral razor a while ago. That would make him a lot easier to deal with. Oh, no, but I guess that wouldn't help me with killing off David. So how, how many turns is this saving me to do this? And what am I sacrificing to do it? It's giving me, I'm, I'm wasting this turn to get turn six and turn seven. Yeah, that's actually probably worth it, isn't it? Yeah, that, that probably is worth it. Yeah, okay, so I'm going to engage him. Yeah, he's, he's aloof. He's not actually on me. Um, but I'm going to engage him. I'm going to play six cents through him. Uh, and he'll kill off David for me. With one horror. Um... And then, I mean, like, what can I do? No sword canes yet is a bit of a problem. That's kind of how I'm supposed to deal with these guys. Uh, I could, I could technically try to punch him, but I'm only, I'm, I'm none up. I'm at zero, so only three tokens work. Um, but he doesn't retaliate, and it's like I can't move. Um, I could investigate here, but then I'd take a horror. So, yeah, I guess I just punch him. And I'll do my three tokens and see what happens. Because, like... If this is a skill test during a circle action and you fail, no, that's not what it's going to be. 
Yeah. Okay, I'll choose the zero and kill him. Sweet. Okay. Uh, and mm, he has one health, right? Yeah, that was definitely a two against two because of my plus one from Crystalline Elder Sign. Okay. Uh, upkeep phase. Another, okay, of course, sure. Fine. Be like that. Uh, that's gone as well, technically, if it matters. Uh, and then the round is over. Mythos phase, we're going to be six out of eight. Ancient Evils puts the Doom on, so I guess it it's it saved me a round, didn't it? I think that technically saved that did save me a round, all in all. <coughs> Excuse me. Um So let's Let's advance. I'll spend my three clues. There we go. To advance. Let's get rid of this. This is so obtrusive. Uh, each investigator must randomly choose one of the set-aside unvisited aisle locations, put it into play in front of him or her, and immediately move to that location, which cannot be cancelled. Uh, if we side with the coven, the brazier is already lit. Place a resource token. Okay, so I get one of these in front of me, which is not connected to anything, and it's got... Uh, oh, that's good. That's good. I like that. Um, shuffle each of the story cards beneath the scenario reference card and deal one of them. So, so yeah, this is the part that I wasn't sure about, but I'm pretty sure that this is like, I find Penny's apron lying on the ground covered in blood. There's no, there's no other sign of her. And I don't get, I don't get that obviously, but yeah, the negative effect from the thing was, was something else. Let me just double check that that's what we're supposed to do. Yeah, place that beneath the scenario reference card. Okay, so that just doesn't happen. Um, and now I cannot leave the location in front of me. It has two clues on it. Um, so let's uh, let's start getting these clues. I guess right. It's a shame that I'm not connected, because... Uh, is that what it is? Cannot leave the location in front of him or her. Are we still connected, though? That's a weird one, isn't it? Normally it doesn't say that, right? Cannot leave the location in front of him or her. So the reason I'm curious about this is because is because technically this connects back to the for forbidding shore. I just can't leave, but it's still connected, right? And so if I fail my test here or if I get a token with six cents, then I'm like, oh, I wouldn't mind picking up this clue like now, this turn, then I'm I can do that, right? That seems fine to me, but I'm a little hesitant to do it in case it's cheating, but that that doesn't seem incorrect. Anyways, I'm, I'm just going to do, do my turn. Um, so I am going to do a bunch of six senses. Um, I'm going to call out the minus two token, um, doing a six sense with uh, the Arbiter of Fates. I am five, six, seven against two. Okay, so I'll choose a minus two token. This isn't a circle test. So I get a draw from that and I get a clue. I'll do it again using Jacqueline's ability. Uh, still seven against uh, seven against two. I kind of don't want to go back there, but I can probably get it later. So I'm pretty sure when I flip this next one. Okay, so let's let's spend the two. I spawn a spectral watcher at the Miskatonic River. Shuffle each set aside copy of the Watcher's Grasp and the Watcher's Gaze into the encounter deck along with the discard pile. Ah, bugger. 
think I did this at a bad time. Given the location in front of the investigator, the center of the play area, you're no longer prevented from leaving. Put aside the set, put the set aside geist trap location to play. Okay. So these are all connected now, and the geist trap goes right there, and it also has a lit brazier. And how does this work again? I can't enter here until all of these ones are, 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 are uh, unlit. So it's kind of like that, right? Like they all they all connect to one another. Oh uh, wait, no, this last that's not actually true, is it? That's kind of confusing, right? These these are lit this way. Ugh. Ah, <laughs> uh, man. I hate, I hate when scenarios are like this. But it's fine. It's fine. Uh, I guess it's kind of more like this right now, right? Where these are all these are all connected together. And this is connected to all of them, and this is connected to all of them. Yeah, that's fine. Let me. Um, I'm just gonna. I'm gonna erase this nonsense, and I'm just going to draw draw it in like this a bit and then technically yeah there that's close enough right that we can we, can, we can we know what's happening we know what's happening um all right so last action uh what's my skill value here i guess is a, a good question against 11, um, 5, 7, 8, 9, 10 against 11. So that's not great, um, especially when I don't have any, any uh, anything else going on for me. So um, how am I going to light these? I do have one clue to reduce the test by 2. But I probably need that for this one. And I would like to pick up this clue, but unfortunately I kind of uh, screwed the pooch on that, didn't I? Hmm. Okay. So first action next turn, I'd really like to play Voice of Raw to get some money. I really need to get further into my deck, too. Let's think. I believe he's going to be a 4-6. Which is nice, because I think I can still kill him in two hits. Um, but it's a, bit, it's a bit scarier. I'm trying to think... This is pretty well useless. Um, let's let's take a draw action. Okay, pendulum. That's not very useful. Well, it's it's an icon. It's fine. That's plus one to my next my next thing. Uh, enemy phase. So he's hunting after. She's hunting after me. I guess. So I need to unlight these two braziers to complete this. Okay. Okay. <sighs> nope. Myth upkeep phase. I don't want to forget about that. I don't know that I need two of these, so this will be really helpful for lighting this one. That's really good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. So I'm at eight, eight doom, so the agenda does flip. Uh, shuffle the encounter, discard into the encounter deck. Check the missing persons. So one person was taken by the Watcher. Um, for each person, I place a resource as, as a soul and stole, stolen soul until the end of the scenario he gains, she gains for each stolen soul on her she gets plus one fight and plus one health per investigator so that's going to go there and I'm actually just going to do this stop can I like 
link them? Is that the right word? Nope, that's lock. There's got to be. I know that there's something you can do. That's not it. Let's try that again. <laughs> oh, Christ. <laughs> uh, this is why you don't do it live. Let's try, let's try that again. Oh, man. Big mistake. Another big mistake is that I should have uh, I should have waited. Um, so can I do that instead? Okay, perfect. Ah no! Okay, perfect, 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 perfect. Okay. Then you need a resource on you. Yeah, I should have advanced then. I should have, like, stood around drawing to get my sword cane so that I can evade her. So right now I'm a little scared because I don't have a way to deal with her other than killing her. And that will be a big waste of charges uh, sitting here killing her. Um, so I'm going to have to figure something out to get away from her. I might even have to waste this uh, unexpected courage. And that would be a huge bummer. So, so, um, I'm not even done the mythos phase yet, am I? No, I'm not. Okay, each location gains haunted. Take one more. That's not so bad. That's actually super fine. Um, super duper fine. So, let's... Okay, let's solve the unvisited aisle first. That is like, are you elite? Yes, you are. Let me take a look and see what my prescient can get back. Read the signs. That's it. And spectral razor. Okay, so let's solve this test. It is a test 11 of both. So 7, 8, 9, 10, uh, 11, 11, 12, 13. Uh, 13, 14 against 11, and I'll use the Arbiter of Fates. Fifteen? Let's go with 15. I'm going to call uh, symbol just because it's the most likely thing. Uh, oh, is that even true? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Oh, I guess odd or even is actually the most the most likely. Interesting. I didn't, uh, I didn't realize that. Okay, so I'm going to call even. Um, or wait, no, that's not even true, is it? Yeah, no, these don't count. So it's like one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, no. So it's it's simple. It's simple. Right, right, right. So uh, I will be using my crystal pendulum to try and get a draw out of this. So I'm calling symbol, and I'm going to say um, negative one as like the result that I'm looking for. Uh, so if I'm fifteen against eleven, that's four up. So I guess three. If I fail by if I fail by three as well, that'll. But I don't think that's very likely. Uh, so I didn't pull a negative one, but I do pass the test, and I didn't pull a symbol either. So that all just goes away. But I light the or I unlight brazier. 
Uh, I'm going to sit here drawing, because if I don't get a sword cane, then I am in a bad situation for uh, for her. So there's my sword cane. Cool. Okay. That makes me feel a lot safer. Uh, enemy phase occurs. She moves in and engages me, and then she's going to hit me for one-on-one, -on -one, which is going to go on my handy-dandy black cat. Hmm... A little worried that I took a... No, it was a negative three when I did that. Okay. Okay. Um, upkeep. Cool. That's a little late. That happened to me last game, too. Mythos phase. One out of ten doom. Close to my threat area. Uh, do I want to cancel that? No, I have the deny. It still surges, right? It just cancels the revelation. Yeah, it's fine. And a doom, which I will cancel. Mm. Mm. I don't like that. Okay. Um, so I'm going to play the sword cane. Immediately triggering it to attempt to evade uh, the spectral watcher. I'm at five, six, seven against three. Uh, I'm going to tap this and this. I'm going to be looking for a negative two with the crystal pendulum. Seven against three, so five against three, so two, I guess. So two might actually be the correct thing to call there, but if a skull or a negative two comes up, I'll be getting a draw. Uh, that doesn't occur, but it is successful. And then I shall move to the unvisited aisle. And then I think I kind of need to... Uh, let's play the Scroll of Secrets because I have a bunch of uh, weaknesses that are about to pop out that I am super not looking forward to uh, dealing with. So that goes into my hand. Um, yeah, that goes into my hand. He re nope. He readies. She readies. Oh my god. Oh, come on! Stop it! I don't like it when you do this game. <laughs> oh my god. I wish I knew how to turn those off. Uh, okay. So, she readies, and then upkeep. Okay. Probably need to play this this turn. Two out of ten doom. What about the abilities? Moves cost more. Yeah, that's not even a big deal. Okay, but whatever. Um, so five, uh, six, seven. Um, do I just take that? I don't even think I need to. I don't give a shit. Yeah. Oh no. Uh, I mean, I can pass that if I want to, but I don't... I'll take it as a negative three, and now uh, my move... My next move action this round costs one additional. I gotta reread this to make sure I'm not... on his or her location, or the Haunted Ability in the Spectral Watcher's location. That is such a... That is such a dud on this scenario. That does, like, fucking nothing, dude. I do not care about that at all. Okay. So, she's going to come in and deal me another chunk of damage. I really want to get this done, but I don't know that I can this turn, because this is, like, ten. But do I even have... Well, I mean, I guess I use this. 
Voice of Ra. I mean, yeah, it goes in my hand, whatever. Um, the problem is, I think I need this other clue. <laughs> as much as that sucks. To lower this by, like, minus a bunch. I don't remember how many uh, clues are on the guy's trap. <sighs> yeah, I'm not sure. I don't really know how to solve this one. I, I should have... Uh, I probably should have brought a promise of power in, in this deck. Ah, <laughs> oh, Christ. So I'm at six. I can lower it by one is six against... And then I can bring it to even with the Unexpected Courage. And I can commit my Azure Flame, but I think I need the Azure Flame to kill her here to win the scenario. Because uh, I, I don't really have any other way to kill her. That That's it. I'm not going to sit here slow rolling her with a sword game. That would be really silly. Um, <laughs> okay, I'm going to play Voice of Raw because I am running out of money desperately. And I'm going to use Arbiter of Fates on it. So I'll reveal five tokens and gain money. Uh, so I gain one for playing it and then one, two... Three, four, five. Uh, wow. I choose those three. This is only during skill test. So one, two, three. It does include the autofail. Yep. So for one, two, three, four, five, six. Wow, that was the nuts. Uh, whoopsies. So if only I had a skill booster that could that was relevant. <laughs> Hilariously, like she doesn't get one. Um, she only gets the arcane research or whatever it's called. Arcane. Uh... Oh my God, what's that called? I don't. I don't remember. This is arcane research. Studies. Arcane studies. Um, okay. So what do I do next then? Do I sit here playing over my scroll of secrets to get a fucking another card milled? To get closer to my other unexpected courage? Yeah. Probably. Okay, well, that's annoying. Spend one of them. Yeah, okay, that's a, it's an icon that matches at least. I'm about to get both of my weaknesses, and that's going to be crippling. Absolutely crippling. Let's play the Azure Flame. Gotta get that into play or else I'm, I'm going to be frigged. Okay, so she is going to hunt on to me and deal me one and one. Uh, and I'm going to put them on one and one, like that. Uh, and then the upkeep phase happens. Nice. Oh, right. I was supposed to upgrade one of my wards for free with the Arcane Researches as, like, a meme, because a level 2 ward of protection doesn't do anything solo, but I, I forgot to do it, so unfortunately no one gets to enjoy that with me. Uh, 3 out of 10 Doom, and I have a cancel! Sure do. I sure do. <laughs> we're, not, we're not having that happen. I really don't want to deal with them attacking me again for no reason. Um, okay, so let's scroll of secrets. The black book. Um, oh man, that is brutal. Yeah, that's an, it's a wild icon. So let's evade with the sword cane. Um, five, six, seven against three. Seven against three. I guess I can play the other sword cane if that's like an actual catastrophic failure. Oh, when I would take one more damage, I take two additional damage. That should have happened a while ago. I'm just going to take that now. That That should have happened a while ago. But I wouldn't have assigned it to him. And you get to assign it where you want. Um, yeah. So, 
so so yeah that's that's my bad but it, i don't think it impacts i'm sure there's okay so if that had happened i'm sure there's something clever i could have done with deny and i don't remember how deny works with additional damage so whatever i'll just take my lumps and say i when i took that damage i should have taken two there and and that's it um, I don't. I don't think I'm gonna pull extra tokens with our. Well, no, I have two. One will be for the circle test. Yeah. No, that's fine. Uh, okay. And I'm going to call out uh, the negative two. So seven against three. Ah. Well, I got minus three total, um, which is still successful. Um, so I think I have to try this now, or else I'm going to be just not succeeding at this game any longer um so my skill value is six i can spend one to bring it down to a test of eight and i can commit seven eight nine ten eleven eleven against eight Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> nope, that's not the right one. Okay, so let's double let's double check this. Okay. So I spent a clue to make the circle test minus two difficulty. So it is a test eight. I am at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven against eight. And I will be pulling three tokens and canceling one. Oh, yeah. The brazier, brazier is unlit. Um, so, there's something, something to be said about getting this clue to make this too easier. And I don't know what it is. <laughs> I don't know what to say about that. Um, okay, so these all go to the discard. I'm a little worried I'm about to hit my weakness. Oh, uh, do I just go without it? What are, what are my values without it? I'm at... Uh, so I'm at base 12. With plus four brings me to 14, 15. I'm at 15, and I only have three more icons in hand. So, yeah, I need more icons, and I need more clues. So, one thing I could do is uh, six cents from here and hope that it reaches over, but I'm not confident that's going to happen. Um... And I already, when did that happen? That was like last turn. So I don't have an action to cost. I think last action. <sighs> Is it better for me to, yeah, I think it's better for me to just, oh wait. Um... Yeah, they're all revealed and they're all unlit. So reveal that, move each investigator at an unvisited aisle location to that. Shuffle the set aside Twilight Lodge encounter set into the encounter deck along with the encounter discard pile. Um, if Joseph is alive and well, spawn him at the Geist Trap. Uh, well, he's not. He's toast. Yeah, okay. Um, right, okay. So I do still have an action left, and I'm standing here, so I will investigate here. Yeah, that's that's correct. With six cents. Uh, unfortunately, I can't reach all the way over, but that's fine. Minus two. Oh, uh, five, six, seven uh, against four. So minus two when I get the clue. So I have another minus two against that. Okay, cool. Uh, enemy phase. He's uh, buggered. Upkeep phase. I'm going to get my weaknesses. Oh, that one's painful to get now. Stop. 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 Don't. Don't do it. Um, okay. Okay. Mythos phase. Oof. 
I don't think I shuffled this. I don't remember. I could just, like, try fishing for the plus five on the other side with the black cat. <laughs> like, just, just try it a bunch of times and see if I can get the plus five instead of the plus one. Uh, anyways, I either have to make it so my move... I mean, I'm just going to punt this one again, right? I'm just going to punt this one again. Technically, I could, like, choose to trigger this one to, like, heal a, hor a damage or a horror, but, like, I don't know why I would do that. Um... <laughs> okay. Um yeah, I'm just gonna bunt this. So five, six, seven. Uh seven. Okay, so if I say seven against five means I'm two up. If I say one, then Passing by one or failing by one is the same as if I say zero. So I'll say zero. Nice. Sweet. Yeah, yeah. Cool. So I get a draw. Ah, perfect. Just what we were looking for. Okay, so let's use the scroll of secrets. Um to look at the bottom card of the deck. I'm going to add that to my hand. Um, that goes away. Okay, so... How... What do I do now? I am kind of tempted to just, like, throw wild-ass tests at this. So what? All right. Let me count. Let me count up again. Twelve. Fourteen. Fifteen. If I pull the elder sign, I actually just just succeeded it. But if I'm if I'm forced to take an elder thing, then I don't. And if I pull like <laughs> elder sign skull and an auto fail, then I don't. Or, well, I mean, Elder Sign, any, any, as long as it's not Elder Sign zero, an auto fail with an Elder Sign will make me, will make me fail it. So, let's think. Oh, no, that won't make me succeed. I need to get rid of this if I want to do that. And maybe that's what I do for this turn. I'm going to discard my 13th vision. Five, I'm at 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. 21 against 18. If I dump my whole hand. But that puts me, I can be at 20 against 18. I was going to say, at 21 against 18 puts me in a shitty position if I pull one of those nasty ones that deals damage. Because I'm in a in a dire spot right now with that. So, um, let's see. This is a this is a really tricky spot to be in don't have quite enough icons to do something cool. wonder if I just have to go for broke on it, though. What are my chances to hit her right now? She's at 6 health, and she has 4 attack, or 4 uh, combat. I'm at 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 against 4, so I'd be 5 up. That's a pretty comfortable spot to be against her. You know what? I think I'm going to go for like the quick the quick fix. So I'm going to spend a clue to get rid of uh to bring this to an 18 test. 
and I'm going to commit those. So 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21 against 18. Three up. Nice. Take the zero. I didn't call anything for press yet. Forgot to. The brazier is unlit at the Geist trap. Okay. Uh, she moves to me and hits me. Um, whoopsies. Oh, one, two. David. Five out of ten doom. Well, that's no fun. Uh, let's shoot an attack against, whoops, shoot an attack against the uh, Spectral Watcher. I am, uh, what did I say a minute ago? Five, six, seven, eight, nine against, nine against four. Okay, minus four total, that's a hit for three damage. Next attack, nine against four, using Jackie's ability. Take the negative one, six. And she is toast. Union. As the blue flame of the brazier is snuffed out, the energy around the circle disperses. The shadow wreath around the watcher's form is released, and the creature's true form surrounds the central pillar. I don't remember if I've ever done it on this side, so I'm just going to do a quick, quick run through. Annette approaches, uh, sister, we're one of the ones who called you from the great beyond. And then what? She merges with uh, Kazaya? Fuck. Whew. Annette Mason's possessed by evil. Well, thankfully, we don't have to deal with Annette, because uh, that's not how far the league goes. That's it, folks. That's it. I think... Um, yeah, I was really happy with this deck. Holy frig. This is a cool deck, man. Um, Black Hat is so fun. I wish I wish I had drawn more Elder Signs during this just to be like, look at the nine lives, because last scenario was crazy with that. It's just like he was loaded up constantly, and it was always, 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 always uh, getting there. Um, but, yeah, I'm super impressed with how this deck went. This is the first time I've ever had like a really successful, really successful Mystic solo run. Um, because I've always found Mystic to be like really tricky. Wow, last card of the deck after I discarded five from the bottom. <laughs> I've always found solo Mystic to be super tricky. And um, like you just have to be so careful. And Sword Cane changed things up so much. Um, but yeah. Uh, uh, if you've been watching the series, uh, thanks so much. I really appreciate it. Uh, I don't normally do a lot of content. I don't consider myself a content creator. Um, I've been trying to plan to like just record myself playing a little more often to kind of force myself to play a little more often. And right now I'm trying to think of some team to do like a whole hog curse thing with and I'm thinking it's gonna be Winifred using like false covenant and justify all means or just justify the means and all that stuff uh, alongside I, I'm not sure um, it might be fun to play her if you're using justify the means it might be fun to play her alongside like a mystic that's doing the mystic cards but I'm not sure yet and uh, if once once I finally settle on what I'm gonna do, I think I'm gonna record them. I'm not gonna live stream them, but I'm probably gonna record them and just throw them up on the YouTube channel. If people are interested, they can watch. If you're not, that's fine. Uh, there's a lot of there's a lot of content creators out there, and I I'm just doing this for fun. So, 
uh, anyways, really appreciate watching. I hope my score of it that wasn't too messy. I'm uh, <laughs> I've, I've, uh, my my excitement level has gone down each each scenario pretty significantly. Um, but anyways, uh, thanks for watching so much. Really appreciate it, and I will see you guys next week.